because of the day the Zimbabweans have made. Let's be proud of it. A historical moment for Zimbabwe. The signing of the new constitution brought hope to many people. But a year on, that hope appears to have faded somewhat. More than 400 acts of the existing law still need to be aligned to the new constitution. Those who oppose the document initially say they are not surprised by the failures. The constitution itself is defective. I think at the time that uh, people were celebrating, they knew that there was nothing in it. It was a political compromise, and at the time, those who accepted the constitution wanted it to be a stepping stone uh, to the next election. The parliamentary committee tasked to align Zimbabwe's laws with its constitution blames the delays on a lack of political will. Government says it's highly technical work and cannot be done overnight and has prioritized urgent laws that need to be tackled first. Among them are amendments to the electoral law currently before Parliament. But critics fear the delays could leave room for loopholes. Unfortunately, the non-alignment of the existing law to the Constitution has also become a convenient excuse to not uphold and abide by the Constitution. Freedom of the media is just one of the issues. Local journalist unions planned a march to mark World Press Freedom Day earlier this year, and it was called off at the last minute because police hadn't approved it. This yet media freedom is enshrined in the new constitution. Government has moved to clear the air. You must remember that the constitution is the basic law of the country. It is binding on everybody. And any law that is not in line with the constitution is invalid to that extent. Government is urgently working towards a realignment and says soon a raft of laws will be taken to parliament for approval. I must assure you that government is not lethargic on this point. Uh, we are working day in, day out. Uh, unfortunately, our society at the moment is uh, very much poisoned by mistrust. And short of actually taking our drafters to parliament for people to see that work is being done, nobody will believe that work is being done. I can tell you that there's a significant number of laws that we have attended to. And uh, in the not too distant future, we'll be bringing them out to, to the public. No deadline has been set for all the outstanding work to be completed. Farai Mokutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.